주체의 사회 주기를 우리 어떻게 정대로 지키는가를 세계 여보라 Hello, everyone. So, the game here, and welcome back to another War Thunder episode. Since drones have been added to the game, aerial activity has been peaked. Now, there's a lot of players suddenly started to spawning with SPAAs and attackers more. SPAAs trying to counterattack the scout drones and attack drones. Drones are trying to hunt the ground targets. Not only that, since there's massive SU 25 spam, attackers, fighters decided to join this mayhem as well. Now we see this three faction war, drones versus planes versus SPAAs. And there is one and only vehicle in the game can get advantage of the situation. It's the Z19. Now I already reviewed the premium version of it. Unlike attack helicopter, this is not a downgrade or upgrade. This is just straight copy paste, a twin of premium Z19. And now I already mentioned how good the AA missiles are. So now there is a reason why you need to grind for this regular run. Not only you can shoot down attack drones and jets with ease, because this helicopter have literally the best anti-air missile that helicopter can wear with 20 Gs of overload. You can also switch to ground targets whenever you want. You have 8 ATGMs and 8 anti-air missiles. Because of these missiles, I can easily say this helicopter is dangerous as regular SPAAs you see on the ground. While I was reviewing the SU-25 and playing it in a stream, I was getting shot by Z-19 non-stop. This helicopter is now a must because you can clear the sky out of drones, out of planes, out of helicopters if you play carefully because we have 6 kilometer limited range, not 8. What's great about Z19, even if you don't do anything, gives you free loadouts. Uh, by the way, these three are custom loadouts. They're not available here, so make sure to create them. So this rocket and anti-air missile loadout, free. You can spawn with them at the beginning of the match as well. Uh, they don't require any spawn cost. The one that is good uh, is this one. It requires 136 SP. Comes with 8 anti-air missiles that can turn 20 G and also 8 ATGMs. Both of these missiles have same range, 6 kilometers. Yes, it's a limitation, but it's a good cost when you have an OP anti-air missile that can lock on drones and airplanes. Also, you can lock on airplane that is coming straight towards you. You don't need to see its jet flame. This helicopter is actually even better than the top tier one, 11.0. You don't need any other helicopter in Chinese tech tree. It comes with everything. Automatic countermeasures, good thermal vision with a good zoom. And also perfect maneuverability. A decent top speed, not the best, but it does barrel rolls extremely fast. A surprisingly high maneuverable helicopter. Even the repair costs shows how efficient it is. Almost 10k. So yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Enjoy the gameplay. Yeah, no, 
다시 던지고 장기 오늘에는 당의 품에 구름도 원대였다 자농사 많이 짓고 장수하세 아들 딸도 많이 낳아 울고세 조선은 결심하면 한다 조선은 한다면 한다 